So the first step is going to be a frame, and I really like the owl frame, um, especially for some winter indoor leagues because uh, it does have this uh, ring around so it protects you from running into objects, which also saves you from going through a ton of propellers. Um, that said, you may get some more impact on the edges, but this frame seems pretty resilient. Um, there's also some very nice basic starter frames such as the ZMR250, um, a lot of other 250 frames. 250 is about the standard size. Uh, this is a little smaller uh, because it's for an indoor league and I'm wanting something a little smaller that I can use indoors. Um, but really any frame is going to work. You don't want to get something super cheap uh, because it won't have the highest quality carbon fiber. Um, but that said, uh, most frames will work. Uh, so. I mean, frame construction is usually pretty basic. Uh, the ZMR frame involves putting some more components together. This just has two plates. Um, when putting them together, you're going to have usually a choice between these nylon standoffs or um, some aluminum standoffs. Personally, I like aluminum because they just, I mean, they look cool for one um, and they're a little more resilient. But sometimes it's nice to have a bunch of these nylon ones. So if you do hit really hard instead of frame breaking, these will break and then you can just replace these. Um, so kind of two schools of thought there. I went ahead and just put the screws in here already. Uh, for the owl frame, you can see there's two in back, two in front, and or excuse me, two in back, two in front, and then just three on the sides there. Um, and sometimes the holes are just a little bit smaller than the screws, so you're just going to have to force them through. That's normal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just open up these aluminum ones here. Once that's on there, you're just going to screw these all on to the screws, like so. And once you have uh, the other plate on, you can uh, go ahead and get... Uh, screwdriver, wrench, whatever you want to call it, um, on either side and tighten both the screws in. Uh, but usually hand tightening will do just fine for these. Uh, if you really want to keep your frame together, you could put a little bit of Loctite um, on these standoffs. Uh, I tend to bend them, so I don't like to do that. So if I do bend one up, I can replace it uh, with some other ones. Uh, but this seems to be uh, just fine for all my applications, and I don't go super crazy while I'm flying. so. Uh, this should work just fine for you, especially if this is your first build. Uh, but again, if you do want something that holds together really well, some Loctite or something like that uh, will work out just fine. So the owl plates do appear almost identical, um, but they are not. They have, um, obviously, arms on the bottom um, is going to be the biggest deal. Um, and now, the owl can be built with this either as the top or the bottom. You just use inverted motors. Um, I'm just going to use motors that are not inverted because um, I have heard that if your motors are a little bit bigger, um, your propeller nuts might touch uh, the ground if you are upside down, so I'm just going to totally avoid that um, and build right side up. Um, so once you get this on here, obviously you're just going to use some more screws, and you're just going to screw them right in here, and there should be hardware that comes with uh, your frames. I'm not going to do that right now because that's pretty basic, uh, just screwing in some screws. Uh, but if you do have any questions, let me know. Again, this is a really basic frame. There's not a whole lot you're going to have to do. Uh, if you wanted, you could sand any rough edges of uh, the carbon fiber. Some people like to do that. Um, and pe people also say that maybe sanding the edges makes it a little more aerodynamic. Uh, there's, you know, maybe minimal if you're not going really fast. Kind of, if you're not a professional, might not make a huge difference. So I'm just going to leave it. And this does have a little bit of a bevel already. Um, but that is really it for frame construction, pretty basic. Uh, not a lot of frames come with instructions, so you're just going to have to kind of go for it. Uh, but you can usually just use the picture provided uh, to make that work. Uh, so thanks for watching video one of the How to Build an FPV Drone series. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, like, uh, comment, and share if you found this helpful. Um, and make sure to check out the other videos in this series. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.